Hello everyone. So today I'm going to show you how you can log in into your Salesforce account using your Gmail credentials or we can say Google account credentials. So let me show you the live demo at first and then I will show you how to do this configuration in your org from scratch. So first of all, I will copy this my domain URL. This is nothing but the unique URL that each Salesforce org holds where it is actually hosted on. This org is hosted on, the, on this domain. Okay, so let me open the incognito window and here I will hit the my domain URL and it will take me to the login screen of my Salesforce org. As you can see, there are two options now that is normal username password of my Salesforce account or I can use my Gmail to log in here. Let's select this login with Gmail option. It will take me to my Gmail uh, login screen and here I will enter my email ID followed by my Gmail password obviously. And as soon as I enter hit here, the redirection will happen in such a way that it will take to my Salesforce org. So as you can see, I have entered my Gmail account credentials, but I am actually logged in into my Salesforce org. Here it is. So yeah, let's start building this, how you can do the configuration for yourself. Let me go to my separate Salesforce org and here I will build the same configuration from scratch. Okay, so let's start. First of all, the very first step is to search for auth provider in your setup. This is nothing but your authentication provider who should be your authentication provider. If you click on new, there will be few options in the drop down. You can see Apple, Facebook, all these are my authentication provider that you can choose. But in our case here, we will choose Google. So we'll use Google's credentials to log in into our Salesforce or let's give the name of this auth provider and let, let's not fill all the unnecessary details that are available. But yeah, there are few things that has to be done. First of all, let's you have to click on this registration handler option. You there's a button called automatically create a registration handler template. This is nothing but it will create an Apex class, a template Apex class that you, you can use for registration purpose and all. And then the second option is execute registration as who should run that Apex class. Let's select any of the administrator from here. I will select myself, any, any admin you can select who will actually execute that Apex class. So this is all you have to fill, just the name and the registration handle, that's all. Now, if you see, one, we generated that template, Apex class template. Now we have to edit this. Uh, you can see that there will be a lot of code written inside this registration handler, which might look scary and uh, confusion as well. But what if I say that you can edit this entire code and just put this 10 line of code there and you are good to go. So I have written this Apex code, which I will share with you definitely in the description of the video, you can simply replace all the existing code which is already written here with this 10 line of code. How simple it is. And this code is nothing but it just checks whether the user who is trying to log in from his Gmail actually exists in Salesforce or not. If you can see, I'm just selecting my user detail where email is equals to whatever email the user is providing in his Gmail login screen. If he exists, then return that user so that he is able to log in. And if he does not exist in Salesforce, then we won't allow that user to log in into Salesforce because his user doesn't exist. Simple as that. So we are assuming that the user who is trying to log in from his Gmail account actually exists inside Salesforce as well. That's all. Very simple code. I will put you put this code in the description as well. Let's save this Apex class. Now our authentication provider setup is done. As you can see, these are the only details that we need to fill. We have already updated our Apex class. You can see, we are now, we have updated the Apex class as this Gmail, Gmail registration handler. This is the name of the Apex class now. Previously it was just a template. Now it is actually performing some activity. Cool. Now this is done. Next step, go to 
my domain where i will make use of this authentication provider setup is done now it has to be used scroll down and if you see authentication configuration section here just click on edit and it is asking for what all authentication you want to provide to the user when he comes on the onto the login screen so apart from login form that is nothing but username and password we'll give this another option called google that he can choose to login let's save this now you can relate that why i was seeing two options to login first login form and then the other authentication provider let's take this my domain url and we'll go to incognito window now you can see here there are two options to login one is normal username and password and the other is login with google google was the name of my third party authentication provider here i will enter my email id this email id of my existing user which exist in that org as well i will enter the password of my gmail account and then you can see the redirection is happening and this time you see my the org which where i am logged in is actually the org where i was setting up that authentication provider setup you can clearly see this or you can see from here as well okay it's not opening in lightning no problem maybe some incognito issue so you can see clearly this is my org where i was actually trying to log in so it is clear now that you can simply this is very simple setup just you have to take care of that apex class which which most of the time is a difficult situation for most of the people what if i say that in your organization there is an ask that all the users it is mandatory for them to log in with their google account and not with their salesforce username password just remove this option from here and you are good to go again you can see now the the users will only get the option to log in with gmail they will have no other option to select see it is directly taking me to my to my gmail account login because that is the default option now let me show you once again let me go to the incognito window hit my my domains url and here it is every time it will take me to my gmail account login why because i have removed the sec first option that this is the default option now so yeah i hope this video was helpful thanks for watching and in case you want me to create a separate video for the community users how portal users should have the same process that is login with their authentication provider let me know in the comments down section and i will create a separate video for the portal users as well thank you